no, no. Let's see if you can notice it. Alright, let's try this. Ooh, we got spark. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to bring you up to speed on kind of where I'm at so far in this swap. Um, it's always, things always go crazy when you're when you're doing a swap. So, um, from the last video, you can see the engine's in. Um, you know, this is all stuff that you would, it's all just nuts and bolts here, right? Just just the coil, got that set up, plugged into the, the harness, um, you know, MAF, and then intake, got a little cheap air filter. Um, I put oil in it. I actually had to remove my oil cooler, you can see, um, because with the cooler it was hitting this header so i didn't realize that so pulled that out and just put a the little um pipe thingy adapter in there um got the um ballast resistor for the um uh, or just the resistor pack for the injectors um afm plugged in um okay so, this is probably going to be the part that is most useful for a lot of us. Um, so, here we have the factory harness for like a T72 or A71. Um, you know, very simplified compared to the A61. Um, right now, we're going to focus on really only using three wires. Okay. I'll show you which ones. So you have your black and orange, which is switched ignition power. You have your black and white. Where's the white at? There it is. Which is starter. And then this um, yellow and green, that's for temperature. So really, to get it to start, I think you really only need these two. Um, but for all your gauges and stuff, and then there's like, you know, backup lights, um, tack, AC idle up, and a few other random things. But for now, we're just focusing on these three. Um, um, as you can see, this is the 8.6. This is the ch um, engine harness. I chopped the end off because I'm not going to be using it. So we're just going to um, figure out which ones we absolutely need and then run those. So... I picked out the same three here, right? So you got, notice Toyota likes to use the same color, thankfully. So you got black, white, black, orange, yellow, green. Black, white, black, orange, yellow, green. So these three are gonna be the ones we're gonna use um, for now. Um, you got like tack, um, this is oil pressure. We will need that, obviously, but the, the A71 doesn't have a gauge, it's just a dummy light. Uh, reverse lights. Uh, this, I, I'm not 100% sure what this one is at the moment. Um, and then I th it might be for AC idle up, and I think that's what these are for as well. So, again, we're not we're going to just try and not even worry about these. Okay, we're going to just keep those out of our mind. Uh, we're going to be using these three. So... Um, I got some more setup to do. As you can see, what I did was I routed the engine harness um, through the little hole that's here. It's a tight fit, but you can do it. Just gotta do one plug at a time. Um, uh, all right, let's see if we can get some light. All right, so 
these are your three ECU plugs, right? Most of you are only gonna have these two. You'll have these two and this one, which is your chassis plug. Um, this is not an ECU plug. This one right here. This is a chassis plug. This goes into an 8.6. Um, not sure if we're gonna need that or not, but we'll find out. Um, so your harness will come with just these two and you'll need to get a 14 pin plug. Guys will sell them, you can find them. They're out there. Um, these have been tapped into here um, for a few different things. I think it's like speed sensor, ones for the AFM and, and whatnot. I could get a better breakdown for you if you want, but um, literally you just gotta go online, find uh, there's a picture for the ECU pin out. Uh, there's a few websites that have these. Basically, the main ones we're focused on right now is going to be these three. See, these two are tapped into each other. This is gonna be switched 12 volt, and this single wire is going to be um, constant 12. So all I'm gonna be doing is, there's 50 different wires on, over here that are unused. So plan is to uh, probe them out, find which ones give us uh, switched and then constant, and then we're just gonna tap into it. And then we'll have everything wired up so that way we can um, tentatively start the engine. So I'll bring you back once I figured out which wires I'm using. All right, so surprising enough, I was not able to find a just constant 12 volt over there. All those wires. So what I did was I used um, one of these adapter, these fuse adapter dealies on the top right fuse. I'm not sure what that's for at the moment, but. Um, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna run a wire from here to the uh, constant, and then that should be good. So that'll be our constant power to the ECU. And I found a switched over there for the other two. Um, and then we'll plug the ECU in and see what happens. All right, let me show you what we got going on. Um, okay, so um, plug that fuse tap dealy in, ran the wire up underneath here. This is the constant 12 that goes to the ECU. Then I used to use a quick disconnect. Then down here, we have this wire going up to the ECU. Uh, this is for switch 12 volt. You just have the two, it's like B plus and uh, I don't know, there's another one, forget B, B plus. Um, that's to this blue wire, which is switch ignition. Um, then, <coughs> Remember there was two main wires that we need here. You got the black with white, that's gonna be your starter, uh, the starter uh, trigger. And then uh, black and orange, which is your switched ignition 12 volt. So what I did was my buddy Rav told, told me about this little easy way to check for spark. I just have the timing light hooked up. So ideally we should see spark. We should see this timing light light up when uh, it gets turned over. So let's see. It's hard to pick up on camera, but it's flashing every time. It's funny, it's not picking it up, but it's flashing. <laughs> so we got spark. Spark, it's the next thing to check. This isn't super recommended here, but it is what it is, you know? This stuff's actually that kind of dry, so you don't want to run a lot of it. It'll tear up your cylinder walls. First start, I don't know. Okay, so that's good news. Um, so at this point now, what I'm gonna start doing is uh, doing a little cleanup. Um, I'm probably gonna 
toss some heat shrink on the ends of, of these because I know we're not going to need them for the time being. Um, I'll make some, which I don't need to do quick disconnect. So what I could do is actually just um, connect these two and then um, there's a couple, wait, I think I need to do, oh yeah, tap. Sorry, I'm getting confusing myself right now. Uh, this one into temperature, and then um, what else? I think that's it for right now. So I could I could tap these in these three, and once I get my fueling system set up, I should be able to start this thing and run it. So we'll see. Um, I'll probably do this stuff off camera just because it's uh, much easier. Um, and really it's just, you know, connecting wires. So uh, if you have any questions about it, just let me know. But um, yeah, if you just reference the, the diagram, uh, there's a few pictures of what each plug does. If you just reference those, then uh, it should be pretty easy. Maybe I'll try to insert it at some point, maybe here. I don't know, we'll see.